Hello, it's Mr. Crowder here again. I'm here to share with you how to do two different topology lessons that I created many, many years ago, and I would like you to do these also. They're really good for practicing and understanding topology. So, as you can see here, I've pulled up some old notes that I, that I once gave to my classes. Topology is the study of the surface. ISO lines are lines that represent sameness. And one of the ISO lines we're learning about now are contour lines. They're ISO lines on a top topographic map. Later this year, we'll be learning about some other ISO lines that are used in weather. So index contour lines are the thicker ones. They're every fifth one. They have a number associated with them for whatever the height is for on that line. And then the contour interval is the difference in height from one contour line to the next. Okay, so you'll need to print this one. This one I call the easy topo relief. After printing it, you're going to fold it in half right down the exact center of that page. Then, this is the one called the flat irons topo relief. That's because this place right here is where the flat irons are in Boulder. Then you'll see that this is a little dark line, a straight line drawn between a picnic area down here on the bottom and the uh, this is NCAR, National Center for Atmospheric Research here on the hill. So <clears throat> this line is a folding place where you'll take this entire map that I made here and fold it right across that line. Uh, be sure to not use your fingers uh, going back and forth across that line like a lot of people like to do to make a nice straight line in the fold. What happens is you'll rub these lines off and it's very important that the lines are visible um, for you to do this little activity. So here, down here is another piece you'll have to print off also where you're going to use it like a graph. You're going to be drawing a side view of the flat irons uh, where that line is going across the flat irons. Okay, so for the easy topo relief, this is the area. I'm hoping you can see this. So this is the area. This is the area that there's a map of. Okay, and um, first of all, the bottom piece, this layer, is 40 feet high. Okay? Then the next one up, since it's 40 feet being added to this, is now, so 40 plus 40, now that's 80 feet. And then we're going to put this one on right here. So that's going to be 80 plus 40, that's uh, 120. And then this one added to that, on top of that, is going to make that 160 feet high. And then this one over here is going to be 40 plus 40 plus 40, so that's 120 high. All right? Now we're going to make a map. I have made a map of this, and we're going to divide it right down the middle and then draw and then make the side view of this. Now, this is the map here that hopefully you have printed this out. Okay? Then you fold it down the middle, okay? And when you're working with it, you want to have it facing you with the numbers on it. That'll make it easier to work with. All right, so remember that this was the actual, the real sort of three-dimensional version of this thing here that I'm calling the easy topo relief. This, I, I like you to do this one first because after understanding this and how to do it, then it gets a lot harder on the flat irons topo relief. So this is the easy topo relief. Remember you fold it in half, okay, and you want the numbers facing you. Now you're going to make a little grid for this. You're going to make a little, uh, it's like a graph. You need a line down here on the bottom of your graph, okay, and then you need a line on the side of your graph, kind of like a y-axis of a graph. All right, and you need to have this so that it's fitting somewhere on the base of the graph. And you need to basically make a little mark here 
on the bottom of this where every one of these contour lines are crossing the x-axis of your graph, the bottom of the graph. Okay? Now, the bottom of your graph really is nothing. It's not, it's not a distance. It's not anything. It's just uh, the bottom. Um, but on the side of the graph, we're going to put uh, numbers that uh, represent how high the relief is for each of the contour lines. So we'll say, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go by eyeball. I'm not actually measuring this, as you can tell. So I'm just going to put some tick marks on the side that are roughly the same distance between each other. I'm going to say that this one on the bottom is 40, because that's just going to be the base. Then this is going to be 80, so this is going to be that first level in height. And then this is going to be 120, and then the next one's going to be 160, and the next one's going to be 200. I don't know if I even need to go that high. So I'm good now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the height of each one. So 40 is there, and, but then the next one is 80. So I'm going to put a dot there for 80. And then I'm going to go up to 120. I'm going to put a dot there. So you can see what I'm doing. So I, uh, I'm going to end up with a side view of this. So I'm going to go now to 160. And notice I go straight up from each of the dots I made. I'm not like going, uh, I'm not going sideways any. <laughs> Although I did there, didn't I? So, okay. So then my next one's going to go up from here to also to 160. Uh, that's going to go to 120. I'm going to put a dot there. Now, how high is that? Right in between these. Well, down here you can see it's 80. So that means that this goes back to 80. Okay, but then it goes back up again to 120. Right there. Okay? So that means that what I'm going to end up drawing is something like this. Okay? And I want you to complete the rest of this. Uh, this does need to be in color and you're going to want to take a photo of this and then send it to me in the inbox and I'll grade it. Now for the flat irons relief you need this one printed out and you're going to be folding it right across that line that's drawn on there and basically pinching it with your fingers but not rubbing them back and forth because that rubs the lines off so this it needs to look like that so you folded it right along that line okay you're going to be using that with this okay this needs to also be printed out this is going to be the basically the base of a side relief map we're going to make of this area of the boulder flat irons it's folded right down that line so this is one that was done by uh, one of the kids i had last year and you can see what he did this is pretty uh, bright idea that he had he said okay what if i just color all those lines that are the index lines on this now, the project is that you have to show the relief view or the side view of this map and the lines that you need to worry about, the ones that matter in this big bowl of spaghetti looking kind of thing, are the ones that have numbers on them. For example, this one right here, I've got to get my finger in the picture, this one right here is 7,400, okay, this yellow one. Uh, this one right here that's this orange one is 7,600. So each one of these that have a number on them are important. And so by drawing the lines and color like this on this, it actually makes it easier. But I'm not saying you have to do that by any means. That's, that takes a long time to do. So the project, what you have to do on this, first of all, step one, you need to number off each one of these on the side here knowing that the interval is 200 between each of these index contour lines they're all 200 feet in between the height of one to the next one so that means that this is going to be 6200 if I'm going to go by 200s on this map the next one will be 6400 then the next one will be 6000 600 and the next one of these 6,800 etc on up to as mu much as you can fit on this all the way up to the top there is a good idea 
Now what you're going to end up with eventually is a side view where the hills of the mountains are all going up and down. So the way to do that, the, way, the process is like this. I'm looking for National Center in car here and lining it up right there so that it fits right on the picture of it there and then the picnic area all the way over, let's get it in the picture, all the way over there is the picnic area. Now what I'm going to do on my paper, on this, uh, on the sort of graph paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark right down here everywhere where one of these index contour lines crosses the paper and I do have to lift it up sometimes to see the numbers underneath them. Probably the first one to do right next to this is this one at 6200. So the 6200 line first hits right there and I'm putting a mark down on the paper there. All right, then the next one is the same line, just going, it's going like this, it's going around and around and around and it ends up wrapping back again right there. Then the 6200 actually goes loop and loops around right here. So that's 6200 also. Then it goes back around again. and it, So it looped around three times. So that's all three of those are the same height. But then this one is going to change height. This one is, I know it's 6,400 because I see the one after it, 6,600. There it is. So there is, right there, can you see it? That's 6,000, uh, I'll move it in. That's 6,400. This line that I was just looking for. So I know that the next one after those is 6,400. Okay, so I'm going to make a little dot up to 6,400. I'm also making a dot for each of my 6,200s at the height of 6,200. And notice where I put them, right straight above each one of the little marks I made. Okay, so I'm going to end up, uh, also I know that uh, basically the end car is 6,000, so what I'm getting here is something like that, and then I'm going to keep on going with these lines all the way to the picnic area. I'm going to end up with something that goes up here uh, in the middle of this map, and then it's going to go back down again, So that because we're looking at the, the side view of the flat irons. Okay. So you need to have this drawn in basically by going by each one of these index contour lines and you need to color this. So um, after you've done this, color it however you like. I've had kids do it in candy stripe. Um, I've had kids do it so that it looks like a ski area. You know, So whatever it is you want to make this look like is fine. Then you're probably going to take a picture of it and then load that maybe as a JPEG or, or whatever that fits into our into Schoology so that then I can grade it. So I, I need to see your result after you've made this. Thank you.